So I thought I'd do a video of the car as it stands now before it goes into the body shop. So you've got the headlights at the front and the position side lights just above with the indicators. Um, that's an LED strip. The holes are from previous ones. Um, the front bumper's meshing isn't ducted to the radiator yet, but I will do that after the bodywork's done. Um, the cutout in the bonnet for the reservoirs because I needed to move them higher than the bonnet was for the test, but they've been moved down a little bit now. Uh, these clips are just motorsport clips. Um, they work really well, actually, as quick releases. So underneath I've got the wiper motor um, and that's on its bracket and then the horn, battery and then of course the radiator which is an alloy one with the slimline fans on it. The brake reservoirs have got um, electrics on it so that when the fluid's low I can be told. So I wanted some warning system but you need it for the test anyway. Um, as you can see I've got some bracing in there as well for the um, motor because it was twisting a bit um, from the power and the torque. Um, so obviously it's got a glass windscreen and glass side windows on this I have made as well as the mirrors here which are the third set of mirrors I put on the most ugliest were for the test but passed the test um, so I'm sticking with these ones in the end so hopefully they'll do the job that they need to do um, I've obviously got the um, wheels here so these are rotor grid 19 inch wheels um, the brake calipers are from a Nissan S14 I think and the discs were from a Toyota Supra Mark IV so on the rear of the car we've obviously got the new rear spoiler, um, not properly mounted yet where it's on the wood but I'm just trying to decide what I'll do with it, whether I chop off the ends a little bit or I don't but I've got to be careful because obviously I don't want it to be too thin. Um, the rear of the car is going to have loads of work done to it um, whilst it's at the body shop so the fog light will go, the reverse light will go and become slim, bottom vents to be cut out, the exhaust is changing as well and that will be all cut out and meshed as well. So. The rear will look quite different once it's been completed more than uh, any other part of the car, to be honest with you. But it should still, you know, look good. Well, at least I hope so anyway. So on this side, I just got the fuel filler cap there, flush. Um, the door's not shut properly at this point, which is why it's uh, sticking out. But the door handles are hidden away, so they're not on show, so they're a bit sleeker. Now, the interior is simply a version one. It was just done to get through the test. It doesn't look the worst in the world, but it doesn't look that amazing either, to be quite honest. But... I know what I want to do um, next winter to tidy this all up. Probably should have cleaned it first, but hey-ho. Um, and once it's all done, I'm sure it'll look really good. Probably have a flock dash, the camera all built in, etc. So I hope to do that. The rear of the car is actually attached by the aero catches. Um, but at this point, I've just taken the spoiler off so I can get in there and have a look around that part. The biggest changes will be is obviously I need to cut out the vents on the side of the car, etc. And the roof scoop. So... With all that, I expect the cooling not to be a problem. To be honest, it's been absolutely fine now anyway on the two runs I've done, even with none of these vents cut out. But with them cut out, obviously, the intercooler and the air intake should get much colder air. So these are the aero catches. They're obviously on a bit tight at that uh, moment because um, it's not been all fitted properly. So once we open it up, obviously got the engine and the wiring and the fuel tank. So on the far side is actually the fuel lines and some wiring. Um, part of the test, it has to be very secure, but I think it looks neat anyway. But down the bottom, the red one is actually, for my note, uh, so I know, that's to do with the boost control. I just haven't wired it in properly yet. So there's the fuel tank. Holds about 55 litres um, using the MR2 pump and the MR2 fuel sender. Um, aftermarket intercooler there, which I will duct in. And then on to the mud guards that I built. They haven't got the trims on around the edge yet, so looking a little bit messy there, but um, it's just the start. So on the engine, when I had the engine apart, I actually did paint the block and sort out the head and the rocker cover. But the rocker cover has not lasted well in the weather, just been sat around. So it's taken a bit of a pounding in that area. So as well as that, the ECU there was in a stainless steel box just to help from the weather in case of any spray gets in there. But hopefully won't be driving it in the wet. Um, and the turbo doesn't have its heat shield on yet. So on the other side, we've got the fuse box. So if I ever have any problems, it really is a case. It's just like an MR2. I should be able to investigate using the manual and everything else that goes with it. Um, there's the air intake taken down to more ducting on another vent. So hopefully that will get more charged cool air in there and help keep, it, keep things um, nice and cool. The At the back there, you'll see the current camera uh, for a, the rear view camera, but I'm having to change that. That's wireless and unfortunately it's getting a lot of interference. So I'll be going back to a wired. So that's how the car sits at the moment, to be honest, but um, it'll be off to the bodywork soon, and I'll um, keep posting updates on that. Thanks a lot.